Hi, this is an example of a ballet arcade, also known as the Astrocade, uh, with standard RF. I'm taking this with my Canon PowerShot SX60 camera. This is uh, an example because I'm going to be installing the S-Video upgrade after this, and uh, as an example, show someone who I'm going to be sending one of these uh, upgrades to. This uh, S-Video upgrade was uh, released in 2007 by Mike Mallory of uh, 8bitdomain.com. That site no longer exists, and these kits are no longer available either. Um, they work okay for some people. In fact, they work for all people okay. Um, on my particular unit, I get uh, ghosting, and that's what I'm going to show here. And uh, right now, I'm just going to play a, a I think. Uh, I love it when the dog's barking in the background, um, neighbors. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put on a, a zero-player game of uh, Gunfight, or, or Checkmate. And then it'll play by itself. Man, number of players zero. I've got the basic overlay on, so this is just just see what it looks like. Um, it looks pretty good. I shot some video the other day, and I forgot to put the settings correct on this camera, and it was going in and out of focus constantly, and um, ended up uploading it anyway. So this looks a little better. Um, this game plays pretty fast. I don't think I've ever. I guess it gets this fast when you're playing by yourself. Anyway, I'm not trying to get off the subject too much here. Uh, let me do a quick reset. Maybe I'll show um, an example of the calculator real quick. Let me take off this basic overlay because it makes it basically impossible to use. All right, so we'll just do a couple numbers. I just want to show you like what ends up happening with the ghosting. So I'll try to do some of the same things. So I'll just do some simple arithmetic here. I have sticky keys, which I only press a two key once. <laughs> um, after you start using the keypad, more. Um, that doesn't happen. So, um, let's see. Overflow. Oh my gosh. At least it's not divided by zero and my computer didn't set fire. All right, well, that's enough of this. I'm going to install the upgrade now and then show the difference. I'm going to give it a try by pointing the camera at the upgrade while I install it and see what happens. Uh, let me uh, reset and you guys can check this out. This is my Bally Astrocade, also known as the Bally Arcade. Um, in the background, you probably are going to hear some dog barking. Uh, we have some neighbors that have some dogs that bark all the time. Apologize about that. Can't do anything about it. Uh, if you want to see a video um, with some great barking, this is the one. <laughs> so, what we have is a system that's been opened. The top has been removed. Um, it still has the RF connection inside of it. It has the RF shielding removed. This has been removed so that the system runs a little cooler. This chip right here is known as the data chip. It runs pretty hot. Um, it's blamed a lot for system failure, but these systems are also, I was going to say getting on to be 40 years old, but they are 40 years old now. So we have uh, other reasons that they can go bad too. I mean, like capture or one of them. What I'm going to be doing in this video is installing a simple S video upgrade, uh, which was released by 8 bit domain. Dot com uh, about 10 years ago in 2007 or so and it's a simple thing to do I don't actually use it um, so I'm going to be sending mine off to someone uh, who can get some better use out of it but I thought maybe I'd make a video comparing what my RF looks like with the S video um, I don't use it because on my system I get ghosting on the screen which um, is a problem for me um, there's some great things about the S video upgrade that I like. One of them is that it has separate audio output and um, it's very clean and I use it for um, uh, the Ballet Astrocade Astrocast whenever I record sound. I uh, do it with this upgrade installed and then I get clean, mostly clean uh, video or excuse me audio without any hiss. So that's pretty cool. Um, so after I install this, which is it's a really simple thing to do, um, I will take some more video uh, so you can see an example of what it looks like uh, on the screen with the um, upgrade installed and using S-Video. Obviously you need to have a TV that supports S-Video. Um, I actually use a, a like a 13 inch uh, Toshiba uh, TV from the late 90s or early 2000s or something like that. It's flat screen but it's actually a CRT so it's a tube inside. Uh, it gives great pictures. Um, if you look around you can find these usually at thrift stores and stuff like just a few bucks. I uh, recently got like one that's a 19 inch um, for like $10 and it has component in and all that. 
um, and I also use that as well. Um, interestingly, I have noticed with this S-Video kit installed, and I'm glad I thought of this comparing two TVs, is that on different TVs you'll see more border or less border depending on the TV. Um, and I guess that's kind of true of the RF too. Um, so it's interesting, but sometimes it's, it's quite different. Uh, another difference you might notice with the S-Video installed is the whites look a little grayer. Um, at least on my TV. I seem to be the only one who has these issues, although I've installed two different S-Video upgrades on two different Astrocades, and I have the same issues with both of them. Um, I think uh, if your only option is S-Video, because you don't have a TV um, that supports um, RF, or if you live in a country uh, like Japan, for instance, that uh, you're having issues using one of their TVs, um, this is a good option, hopefully. Um, so here we go. First thing we got to do is we got to remove the RF. It just comes right off. It's not soldered on or anything like that. This is now gone. Out of the picture. Here, now we have the S-Video upgrade. Um, this plugs in very easily. It's no soldering is required. Um, it takes this small uh, jack here for the audio, which is going to take, um, let's see here. At least I've got a steady camera, and as long as I don't bump the tripod. Um, I'll put this down. So the audio, what you want, is you're going to have this mini jack here and this on the other side. So when you're done with it, you're going to have um, stereo mono. So basically you get the same sound out of both channels. Um, so that's cool. Uh, then besides that, you also need to have the S-Video cable. And that just looks like a standard S-Video cable. If you can see that. Um, I have noticed with this kit that I tried using a quality S-Video cable and it didn't quite fit uh, very easily at all. Um, it did fit, but it was pretty, pretty snug. Um, and I didn't notice any difference. I know that I thought um, I might be able to get rid of the ghosting if I used a really high quality uh, S-Video cable, but that was not the case, at least on my system. Um, and so here we go. Uh, you take this, uh, you fits in right easily like here. Um, that part's easy. Now we take this clip, we're going to put it on this first resistor here. There's actually much clearer pictures of this uh, on BallyAlley.com in a S-Video section. Um, so that's on there. Now we have to take this cable, we have to run it all the way to the other side. I think this X is ground. So I'm going to get to the other side of my tripod here, unscrew the screw, and Pull this out and make it. You don't want this metal plate here to be touching any of the chips or anything like that, so be careful where you're putting it. Um, put the screw back in and we're good there. All right, oh, no, we're not good here. As you can see, I have my wire over here. So if you have your um, RF shielding in, this is going to be, RF shielding will go all the way to here, so it will cover all of this, and um, but you will be able to get to the screw, which is I'm sure why uh, Mike Mallory chose it, because it's available and simple to get to with the RF shielding installed. So that is it. Now I just need to install my cables, which I'll do off camera. Um, next thing you'll do um, is uh, make sure that your TV is set to S-Video, and uh, have the correct input on, and you should get a a pretty good picture. Um, I'd be curious to get some feedback on the show notes here. Uh, I guess they're not show notes, that's for a podcast, but in the notes here on YouTube to see if anyone has uh, been able to install this upgrade without having S-Video uh, interference with ghosting. Um, so uh, thanks for watching this short part. It's not very complicated. Um, since I don't ever run this, I guess I should add this. Um, I know that some people have made this a permanent installation into their system and they somehow I don't know if they drill extra holes here or whatever. When I have this together, I just take my cables and I just put them out here and it's, there's nothing permanent. Um, uh, but you can, you know, you can get as fancy as you want it, uh, to make this permanent part of the setup. It is meant to be permanent. Um, there's screws actually here that can hold it together. Um, I haven't done that myself. Um, it probably works pretty easily and I know some people have done it uh, quite successfully. All right. So, on to the next step of seeing what the video looks like. Okay, here we have the S-Video upgrade kit installed. Um, you probably can't see the ghosting whatsoever. 
uh, for some reason um, it's not it's still ghosting but um, hardly it's hardly noticeable um, even to me so that's pretty cool um, this is going to be sent off to someone so they'll should be able to use this fairly easily uh, I'll start another game of checkmate like I did earlier so it can be played with uh, um, I don't know five games we're gonna have or 55 games because you have to two numbers um, and zero players and maybe I can turn this up a bit which we have a remote right here so you can actually hear it yeah but it looks really good um, let's see here so great sound yeah 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 I don't know how loud that sounds there we're not actually going to watch 55 games of this. Oh, I guess I should uh, notice, um, after you've installed it, um, you will see I'm doing different video modes. This would be RF. Now when I choose S-Video, um, there it is. Um, if you forget to change it over, then you'll just see um, static. So, all right. So we're going to do a reset, and I am going to try to install a game that I prefer playing here. Well, that's interesting. My cartridge slot isn't recognizing. There we go. Just had to get the cartridge in correctly. So, why am I choosing this game to play? Um, is it a great example of what S-Video should look like? Heck, I don't know. But it is one of my favorite games for the Astrocade. So, one player. We're going to play three ships. We're going to play five intensity. This game is similar to... Um, Defender, sort of, except you don't got to rescue anyone. Damn, this picture looks really good. I'm quite impressed by it. Um, let's see. Um, so, fire at the guys. Your object is to destroy these guys. Um, I don't know why I'm doing a review of a game here, so I've, um, I guess I'll play until I lose one life. But you can see it's... You can't see the ghosting, which... So I'm so happy to see that. Um, let's see. Uh, continue on. Uh, of right now I'm in defend or indestructible. Can't even crash. Well, can never crash into the ground. Um, this game is 8K. Um, well, I hope you enjoy the video. Maybe you learned something. Uh, if you get a chance to get this uh, upgrade, I think you uh, will get some good use out of it. Um, because you know uh, RF is great. Um, I have no problems with it um, for other systems and this one. But some people um, they want to have a better video quality, and this is something that will work out pretty good. Um, if you do get this upgrade, good luck installing it. It's very simple to do. Um, there's instructions on Valley Alley to do it. And they're not, you know, uh, they're just pictures. And there's, I don't think there's any step-by-step -step directions, but um, you can always uh, chime in on the Atari Age forums uh, in the Valley Astrocade uh, subgroup or on Valley Alley the Yahoo groups. Um, you have to join the post there. Um, someone there can help you out for sure. Uh, thanks for watching.